So recently, someone made a comment on one of my videos, and they said, hey, man, I've learned a lot from you, but your videos would be a lot better if you didn't start out wasting so much time with you know, your accolades and yada, yada, basically talking about my intro. Um, so my response to that is, I am so glad that I've been able to teach you a lot, and, um, and I'll continue to do so. No hard feelings. Um, but the reality is, is that I don't care. I don't care about your opinion. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervideo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers, got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. <laughs> Fair enough, right? Okay. So what we're talking about right now is bit rate and KBPS. Two things that baffle a lot of people in regards to ACX and uploading your audiobooks onto Audible, so on and so forth. So this will be a quicker video. And, um, and, it, and it's, it's simple, right? It's like a lot of people just don't know where to look for those things. So first and foremost, just note that ACX wants a project rate of 44.1. So 44, 100. Okay. First thing to know. Second thing to know where the bit rate and the KBPS come in, uh, has to do with the exporting process. So they don't want a WAV file. I think a WAV file has like a KBPS of like 1,134, maybe more. Um, and that's a lot. That is a big, hefty file. And when we're talking about audiobooks that have hours and hours of narration to them, man, that's a big, big file. It takes up a lot of space, a lot of storage. Um, so uh, in the bit rate, right? So that's why ACX doesn't want waves. They want MP3s. So let me just go to the export screen here. And right here, it says wave. Let's click here and switch to MP3. Now we're going to be able to find our bit rate. So by default, I believe when you export a MP3, it will be set to variable. Now, ACX is looking for constant. So we're going to click constant. Now, what is the difference between constant and variable? So a constant bit rate will give the file the ability to remain constant, thus not having any jolts and bandwidth of your internet or data that you're receiving from satellites and have uh, a screen drop off or the quality of audio drop off. If it's a constant bit rate, the quality won't drop off. There you go. So that is a simple way to think about the difference between variable and constant. Now, you'll notice something right here. It says quality, KBPS. ACX requires a KP, <laughs> KBPS at a minimum of 192 or higher. So we could then export a very high quality MP3 at 320 kbps thus exceeding their expectations but not even coming close to the kbps of a wave which is well over a thousand okay so this very high quality mp3 is a third or less than a third of a wave and what is the difference here kbps and project rate equals the amount of information that is held within the audio track. The more information you have, the higher quality it can be. Now this, you know, if you were to export an MP3 versus a wave on a good microphone, I mean, you're not gonna really hear the difference. Where this is really more relevant um, is with music, studio quality music. There's a lot happening in there. There's many different instruments, many, many different frequencies and hertz happening all simultaneously. That's a lot of information. So a CD 
is wave quality, over 1,000 kbps. Um, everything else should not need to go that high, period, especially not your audiobooks, um, some of your voiceovers maybe, you know, if your clients want that. Um, it just depends on who they are and what they're looking for, and you just give them whatever they ask for. If you want an MP3, high quality, great, here you go. If they want a high quality wave, great, here you go. You know, whatever they want, we're going to give it to them. Doesn't matter. Oh, but none of this stuff can affect the way that your voice sounds, the richness, the texture, the clarity. The only thing that can affect that would be EQ. So sure, we're going to change some information. It's not going to make you sound better. It's not going to make a $100 mic sound like a 1000 bucks. That's EQ. If you're interested in the custom EQ course, feel free to reach out. And if you're interested in private coaching for your own personal projects, feel free to reach out. I've got some testimonials coming your way. It's gold. It's gold. If you have any curiosity about it, you're going to love it. It will change your game forever. Anyhow, moving forward, I hope you guys like my intro. And if you don't, I don't care. But I still love you all, nonetheless. With that being said, until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.